Several leaders joined mourners from all walks of life to bury a man they described in glowing terms. Family and friends paying homage to a man they knew as a committed family man, legislator, and a trusted public servant. His demise is like no other, one that cannot be experienced and relived. One whose acceptance will take time to sink, and one whose process must have been agonizing, painful, and unbearable. A husband. My husband loved Proverbs 17, 13. If you reward evil for good, evil will never depart from your house. I requested that we travel with him on this particular day. And he refused. I even insisted. And he said no. A friend and a colleague. You grieve deeply. We grieve too. But we thank God for the life of somebody who has touched all of us and done very well for us. A man who will have humor when the occasion calls for humor. A man who will have seriousness when it calls for seriousness. A man who will have concentration when the day called for concentration. And we will dearly miss him as a man who matched what he said with what he did. We suffer the loss together and we will continue rebuilding our lives together from where they were terminated prematurely. But Oro Ojode has shown us that not anybody can be a minister, not anybody can be a system minister, unless you are focused and you like to work for your country. All fondly recounting special moments with him that made him stand out as a moral beacon during his service in government and the lessons he painted on the canvas of life. Jode was a, a very effective parliamentarian uh, in, in parliament and he defended the government because as government there is no PNU government and ODM government. The best way we can honor the late Honorable Jode is by embracing communal harmony, which he relentlessly preached. Ojode was a leader who inspired hope and brought a smile to the faces of those who in interacted with him, even in times of difficulty. his widow giving what stood out as a sobering message to political leaders and the orphaned members of his constituency. We all have lost. And I ask that when the time comes for you to choose a leader, think of where Joshua has taken you from. Think of where we are and choose somebody that can continue with the beautiful, good work that he has done, not only for this constituency, but for this nation as a whole. After the service, Sir Jode's body was taken to its final resting place at his Ndiwa home state. all paid their final respects to a man regarded as an effective leader and the voice of reason in an often squabbling coalition government. So thus marks the final journey of the late Joshua Oro Jode here at his Ndiwa home in his constituency. A man whose legacy will continue to be immortalized in his work. Willis, Ruburu Citizen TV, 